हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय क्लास टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू द पीरियोडिक टेबल दैट इज माय चैप्टर इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड पीरियोडिसिटी इन प्रॉपर्टीज एंड द पैटर्न इज दैट इज नीट पैटर्न as we as we all know this chapter is completely theoretical based question but this is one of the most important chapter for competitive examination around two or three questions are asked from this chapter so be careful check out the uh, check out each and every things related to this chapter and definitely you will score full out of full that is three out of three from this chapter clear now let's start the topic now look at the electronic configuration of gadolinium that is atomic number is 64 what will be the uh, electronic configuration in terms of the inert gas as we know we can also write the electronic configuration in terms of the uh, in form of the inert gas like the inert gas as helium that has neon argon krypton xenon and radon what is the atomic number of xenon that is 54 that means to say it is very close to gadolinium due to this reason here the representation is xe now how to fill them that is as we know for writing the electronic configuration we have to follow the rule that is n plus l rule the compound uh, the um, uh, subcell which have lowest value of n plus l then first of all it will occupy electron then further now look at in this case that is xenon 4f7 in this case all 4f 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 as i told you earlier if i talk about f7 and f14 they are more stable than the other like f8 f9 configuration because half fill and full fill um, electronic configuration gives you a stable uh, electronic configuration so definitely the electronic configuration will be in terms of 4f either 4f b or c so we can neglect a and d now compare which one is correct that is 4f7 now count the electron here is 54 plus 7 that is 61 Plus five D one plus six H two again not six S one that is six H two why six H two because when you compare five D and six S now tell me what is the n plus l value for six S that is six plus zero equal to six my friend if I talk about the n plus l value for five D what will be the value of n plus l for five D it's very simple that is five plus two equal to seven now compare which one One has lowest value of n plus l. Sir, it's so easy. Six has has lowest value of n plus l. So it will occupy electron first, then the electron move towards five D. So what is the answer now, friend? Tell me. Oh, oh, we can now tell. That is, if we compare A, B, C, and D, this is the correct explanation. i know i am taking more time to solve this question because i am teacher but in your competitive examination you have only 30 second to solve this question so what i am telling boost your knowledge with solid theory and definitely you will solve each and every question and that's my promise to you friend so let's move to the next section so for question number 1 what is the answer that is c is the correct option <coughs> wait for a moment now let's move to next question that is question number 2 check the question what is given here in the descending order of a vertical group in the periodic table which of the following would be true what is given here look at descending order that is we are moving from top to bottom electronegativity suppose if i take a example alkali metal that is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium as we all know if we move down the group what will happen that is the metallic character increases yes sir metallic character increases 
ओके डेफिनेटली मेटेलिक कैरेक्टर इंक्रीज इफ वी मूव डाउन द ग्रुप इफ मेटेलिक कैरेक्टर इंक्रीज दैट मीन टू से इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव नेचर इंक्रीज दैट इज द आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी डिक्रीजेज इफ आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी डिक्रीजे दैट मीन टू से वट इज मीन दैट इज इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव कैरेक्टर इंक्रीजेज यस सर इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव नेचर इंक्रीजेज Clear to you? Electro positive nature increases. Then definitely there is a decrement in electro negative character because metals are electro positive, not electro negative. And if down the group metallic character increases, then definitely at electro positive character increases and electro negative character decreases. So, what we get from here? That is the option A is correct. Am I right? Yes, sir. Now ionization enthalpy decreases. Definitely the ionization energy decreases. All the atoms have the same number of valence electrons. Definitely, if I talk about the members of a same group, they contain equal number of valence electron. Now next one, metallic character decreases and the basic character. Metallic character dec not decreases. Metallic character increases. So this one is not a correct option. So which ones are correct option? That is A, B, and C. That is one, two, and three. Now check it. Which one is correct? Uh, one, two, and three. So for question number two, D is the correct option. Clear? This is completely conceptual based question. You can easily solve such questions if you have command over the theory. Now let's move to the next one, next section. Now, check out the question number three. Which of the following element has high metallic character? As I told you, if the high metallic character, if the metallic character is high, high metallic character, then it will have less value of IP. That is the rule because if metallic character high, more tendency to lose electron if more easy tendency or more tendency to lose electron then it will uh, it will require less energy to remove the electron and what is ionization energy the minimum energy required to release the electron from the outermost cell of an atom so if metallic character increases ionization energy decreases now read the question which of the following elements has highest metallic character that is uh, find out which one has less value of ionization energy if i compare p uh, if i um, uh, see the data that is s has less value of ionization energy so for this question d is the correct option what i'm telling for question number three d is the correct option now let's move to the next segment next question what will happen check it out now question number four in the sixth period of extended form of periodic table the orbitals are filled 6s, 5x, 6d, 6p, 5s, 5p, 5d, 6p, 6x, 6p, uh, 6d, 6f, and 6s, 4p, 5d, and 6p. How to fill them? Check it out what I'm telling. As I told you, electron will be filled by using n plus l rule. For 6s, tell me what is the value of n plus l? 6 plus 0, that is 6. Now, for 4f, what is the value? 4 plus 3, that is 7, definitely. Then there comes 6, 5D. 5D, what will happen? 5 plus 2, that is 7, definitely. Then there comes 6S, uh, 6P, sorry, pardon. 6P, what is the value of N plus L? 6 plus 1, 7. What about the 6D? That is 6 plus 2, that is equal to 8. What about 6F? That is 6 plus 3, that is equal to 9. So what is the sequence? N plus L value, check out. If I talk about 6S, it, it has less value of N plus L. So electron will, filled, will be filled first in 6S. Then there comes 4F, 
5d and 6p all have same value of n plus l but the rule is the mm, uh, subcell which has less value of n will get electron for then there comes uh, 4f then if i compare 5d and 6p it will have less value that is 5d and 6p this is the order and after the 6d uh, um, more value so order is 6x uh, 6 s 4 f 5d and 6p so what is the option here 6 s 4p uh, 6 s 4 f 5d and 6p so for question number 4 we people can tell that is d is the correct option am i right yes sir you are definitely right now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next one wait for a moment Now, let's move to the question number 5. With which of the following electronic configuration, an atom has the lowest ionization energy? Atom has lowest ionization energy. That metal, if the configuration is for metal, then it will have definitely lowest ionization energy. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, that is for nitrogen. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, that is friend for sodium. Am I right? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, that is for neon, 10. 1s2, 2s2, 2p5, that is for fluorine. Which one is metal? That is sodium. And we all know metal has less ionization energy. So what is the answer in this case? Tell me, sir. It's very simple. For question number 5, B is the correct option. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1. This is nothing but Na, sodium. Am I right? Yes, sir. Now I'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next one. Now, let's move to the question number six. Which of the one of the following order represent the correct sequence of increasing basic character? Now, tell me, as I told you, metal oxides metal oxides are more basic if the metal a character increases then the basic nature also increases as we know if we move along the period the metallic nature listen carefully what i'm telling the metallic nature decreases clear to you what I'm telling, if we move along the period, the metallic nature decreases. That means to say, if I talk about sodium, if I talk about magnesium, if I talk about aluminium, and if I talk about potassium, then what will happen? Along the period, the metallic character decreases due to this reason, the nature of the basic nature of the oxide decreases. So what is the sequence in this case? Al2O3 then there comes MgO, then there comes Na2O or NaO. Now, if I move down the group, the metallic character increases. That's why the, the basic nature of their metal oxide also increases. So, if I compare sodium and potassium, sodium will have more basic character. So, the order is Al2O3, MgO, Na2O, and k2o this is the sequence so which option is correct in this case sir for question number six a is the correct option am i right yes you are absolutely right sir for question number six a is the correct option now i'm going to rub this part friend and we'll discuss the next question wait for a moment now Let's move to the next segment that is the question number 7. Read the question carefully what is given here. That is the first ionization potential of Na, Mg and Si are given 4, 9, 6, 7, 3, 7 and 7, 8, 6 kilojoule per mole. The ionization potential of, of Al will be. Now look at what is given here. Na atomic number 11. The ionization energy is, uh, pardon friend. 496 kilojoule per mole 
then if I talk about magnesium atomic number 12, that is 737 kilojoule per mole. If I talk about silicon, that is 786 kilojoule per mole. Clear? Now, what is the ionization energy? If I talk about the electronic configuration of Mg, it can be written 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. And if I talk about the electronic configuration of Al, that is aluminium atomic number 13, it can be written like this 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Now, if I compare the stability, that is the completely filled, the last subcell is completely filled and it is the most stable electronic configuration. If I talk about aluminium, the last one is 3P1, not half filled, not completely filled. That, that means to say it is not too much stable. In this case, there is less requirement of energy take place to remove the electron in comparison to the magnesium. So, aluminium has um, ionization energy lies between sodium and magnesium that is between 496 and 737. Now, tell me which value is this one? 760? No, out of this radar. 575 that is between 496 and 737. So, what will be the answer? So, for question number 7 that is B is the correct option. Am I right? Yes, sir, you are absolutely right. For question number 7 that is B is the correct answer. I am going to rub this part and we will discuss the next one. Now, look at the question number 8. The ionic radii of N3 minus, O2 minus and F minus. Tell me what will happen in this case. As we know, more the positive negative charge, more is the size. More is the size. This is the thing. More is the negative, more is the positive charge less is the size. This is the theory. Again, I am repeating. More is the negative charge. More is the size. More is the positive charge. Less is the size. Now, if I talk about N3 minus, O2 minus and F minus, which will have more size? That is definitely N3 minus. Then there comes O2 minus and then there comes F minus. So, where is the sequence? That is N3 minus 1.71, this is the decreasing order. 1.71, 1.40 and 1.36. So, it will have more energy, uh, more size than it, than this one. So, for question number 8, A is the correct option. Am I right? Yes, sir, you are absolutely right. So, friend, I am going to rub this part and we will discuss the next one. Wait for a moment. The next one is question number 9. The data check out for one uh, for one of the element various successive ionization energy for second third fourth and fifth look at the variation five seven five then look at the variation third from fourth that is sharp increment then definitely the three electron can be removed easily but the fourth electron cannot be removed easily that is definitely it is in the inner cell which component has three electron in the outermost cell that is aluminium look at 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 3p1 you can easily remove this three electron because cell wise it can be written like this 2 klm 2 a3 three electron in outermost cell it can be removed easily after removal of three electron it acquired the inert gas configuration so you cannot further remove the extra one more electron from this innermost cell so it will if you want to remove you require maximum amount of energy due to this reason from third to fourth that is the increment of energy take place so in this case we people can say that is d is the correct option that is al for question number nine d is the correct option am i right yes sir you are absolutely right now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss 
द नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन रेड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली द टोटल इनर ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट आर ट्वेंटी एट यस फोर्टीन 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 प्लस फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एट इनर ट्रांजिशन दैट इज द एप ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स लेंथेनाइट एंड एक्टेनाइट एंड टोटल डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स आर फोर्टी डेफिनेटली थ्री डी फोर डी फाइव डी एंड सिक्स डी एक्सेप्ट हाइड्रोजन ऑल नॉन मेटल बिलोंग टू पी ब्लॉक दैट इज डेफिनेटली करेक्ट दैट इज वन टू एंड थ्री आर ऑल द मेंबर्स ऑफ द एक्टेनाइट इज आर मैन मेड नो All the members of actinides are few elements. Few elements are man-made, but all are not. So the correct sequence is which one is correct? One, two, and three. So which is the correct option? That is for question number ten. B is the correct option. Clear to you? I think now you can easily solve such kind of questions. So friend, we'll revise these things again. Check it out. What will happen? Let's review the things. For question number one, what is the correct option? That is C. For question number two, what is the correct option? That is A, B, and C. One, two, and three are correct. One, two, and three. That is D is the correct option. Remember. For question number three, what is the correct option? D. Less value of ionization energy. Mo is the metallic character. For question number three, D is the correct option. For question number four, tell me what is the sequence? Six x, four s, five d, and six p. What is the rule? N plus L rule. So for question number four, D is the correct option. Am I right? Yes, sir. You are absolutely right. For question number five, what is that? Is metal has less value of ionization energy? That is B. One s two, two s two, two p six, and three s one. So So for question number five, B is the correct option. Now for question number six, what is the sequence? That is A Al two O three MgO Na two and K two O. For question number seven, what is the answer? That is B five seven five kilojoule per mol. For question number eight, that is A one point seven one one point four zero and one point three six. For question number eight, A is the correct option. For question number nine, what is the correct option? That is A L D is the correct option. For question number ten, that is what is the option? Tell me, sir. One, two, and three. This is the correct explanation. B is the correct option. Am I right? Yes, completely. So, friend, I have discussed the all questions. Uh, uh, Around ten questions related to the NEET exam preparation, and in my next class, I will discuss few more interesting things. Till then, bye bye. Thank you so much.